Okay, so it's been probably over a week and a half since I last played this, but I do have good reasoning, okay, I have a good reason as to why I haven't played this for a while. You see, I, I don't, I don't like this game. Nor do I like the lag that I'm kind of getting a little bit. I haven't really, like, I haven't recorded anything in quite a while. As you can tell from the lack of shit on my, you know, YouTube channel. Yeah. That's not happening, Quill. Er, whoever the fuck made it. Uh this way not playing that not playing that already played that I hated that I thought I already did this I did how the hell do I get up to the second tier am I being stupid again I'm being stupid again aren't I wait this is the joke area yeah that's not happening I think I'm being stupid again how do I get up there? Oh. Yeah, I was being stupid again. Because people totally put put stuff like that in elevator control room. How about no? Okay, let's see. Tier 2, let's go this way. Now let's see. What is open to me? Mainstream sewers. Not playing that. I will sooner play my annoyingly hard level. Then touch mainstream sewers because Jesus Christ, that that level pissed me off. But I think I might almost know where I was supposed to go on that level. I might know, but it could be speculation. Could be, maybe, maybe, maybe it could be. If you don't fear your own weapon, you don't deserve to have it. I couldn't exactly remember what the phrase was, but I was actually referencing a anime by the name of uh, Bleach. I was actually referencing, uh, if anyone even knows the bloody name, Captain Tosin. I need to get up there. There we are. Ah, I designed in such an annoying manner. I made it specifically so that if you kind of screw up, you're you're just done. And I would much rather prefer not to have to do this again. Kind of like that. Fuck. Kind of forget how annoying my level was. I kind of want to get that secret star, just because it will help me get through a couple of levels. So yes, the reason why I haven't really recorded this game all too much is because... Think about it. I've been at this for two something years. May maybe three. I'm not entirely sure when I started doing this. I think it was in like 2010, so definitely three years. Definitely three years. And honestly, I haven't seen any change when it comes to the actual design of levels. Aside to fire, Chad, and sometimes the levels in these contests, I see very little change. And it makes it very annoying on my part to, like, record, because it's like, there's nothing new to talk about. And I'm already, I'm already annoyed enough that 99% of my freaking, like, subscriber base only wants to see this. That, un that alone bothers me. It's like, why subscribe to someone if you're only going to watch one thing? It's like turning on the television and only watching one channel. To put that into even a more retarded retrospective, it's like buying Satellite Dish and then watching the channel that shows you what's on the other channels. Let that one sink in. I mean, I had a new guy pop in saying, Wow. Two days in this video has only gotten three you three views after three days. Wow! I really feel bad for the rest of your subscribers. They're missing out on a lot of new content. 
Like, when I saw that, I was just struck with all, like, wow, someone actually gives a shit. Whereas, if I try to try out a new game that I know is fucking awesome, no one ever watches it. I mean, hell, I am always shocked when I go check out the World of Goo videos, because those things... The first video's got, like, over 10,000 views, I think? That is very, very strange for my channel, especially one as small as my own. So it just bothers me that it's like, the only thing people want to see is something that will never change. And the things I want to play, people won't change themselves to watch. It's why, after every game, I take like a month-long break, because it's like, there's nothing out there I want to play. I mean, sure, every now and then there are new games that seem, you know, good. Like Sednir's episode of Wowser's Castle or something like that. It's, pff, it's never in my interest to actually remember what the hell a name is. I was like, that actually looks good because it has this weird thing called effort put into it. The reason why I hate the way these levels are made nowadays are because they're lazy, they're annoying, it's the same gimmicks, the same styles, over and over. I mean, hell, the only reason I'm even playing this is because I wanted to get my level out of the way. There's a smiley face under me. I, and considering I already did this on my channel, I'm just doing this to beat the level. Which I imagine will become incredibly annoying, because... Batafire... She's an annoying one! Get in the door! Great. Just great. I imagine that boss said it's probably like completely done with this game. Unlike me, he doesn't have to deal with like commentary based stuff, so he he can just record where it, whenever he wants. Supposedly. I'm not sure what his life is like. But it's like when it comes to me, like I just spent the last ten days working eight hour shifts without a break. I mean, that means I pretty much did nothing but work, sleep, and then go back to work. Like, that was all that my day consisted of, you son of a bitch. Why did I design this to be such a pain in the ass? But, uh, on an unrelated note, I do have a new series that I want to try, because I'm done with SMBX for a while. I've, I'm just done. Because I started this channel to have fun with what I do. And what do I do when I play this game? I do nothing but complain. That's not fun for me. It's not fun for you. It's not fun for the guy that's gonna yell at me for not having fun. Damn nippers nipping off my bowels. Fuck. This, this level is gonna wear me out. WHY DID I DESIGN A LEVEL SPECIFICALLY TO WEAR SOMEONE OUT? On the bright side, my next level submission will, uh... ...be very different, because, uh... Well... Pretty much it's a level style I've never actually designed. It's something completely new. It was actually for a level I was going to make before, but... ...I couldn't, like, get all the resources I need in order to make it. And then, like, pfft, a month ago, I was just like, fuck it. Ah, shit. This is an annoying one. Let's get rid of you, because you're kind of annoying. I know I can do this, because I designed this level. Oh, that's right. I need the ninji. That's why I can't do it. I use the ninji to jump up here, which, by the way, this is not how you're supposed to do this level, but I don't care because I'm the one that designed this level. I will break it if I fucking want to. Because I know every trick and every gimmick in this level. And then I watched Boss Edit playing, and then I knew even more gimmicks and tricks. Man, I swear, that kid is good at this game. I mean, I just play to have fun, but man, that kid, he plays to break every law of physics that's even, like, allowed in a game. That's right. I don't have a... I don't have a thing. I'm gonna need this. 
because I can't have that shy guy stay alive. Fuck. I put so much ice in this level. Okay, let's give this another shot. Because I'm, I'm not dying to this level. Not to my own level. Because the boss alone's gonna be a pain in the ass. And I'm not doing it again! Because it could take quite a while to beat him. Okay, I know I put some up here. There they are. By the way, something I never really told anyone aside, you know, a couple of the judges. If you look closely at parts in the level, I actually hid some pixel art in the in the ice. I mean, look at look at the screen. Do you see an arrow anywhere? Probably not, because uh, we weren't looking for one. But I put one there. Ah oh, well, time to get this bloody boss started. It's going to take a while. By the way, you guys can skip ahead like five minutes or so. This boss can take a very long time. Damn me. And this is the only boss I've ever designed that actually has a illusion of choice. Which, uh... Depending on where you stand right after uh, Bata Ice, you know, flies down in the beginning, it will change where she flies in this uh, phase right here. If you stand on the left side, she'll go to the left. If you stand on the right, she goes to the right. I was going to make, like, more sections, like, more little illusions of choice, but that's kind of doing a lot. Like, just getting Bata Ice to follow my commands doing this... Oh my god, that was a fucking ordeal. I went through a lot of notepad paper just to keep track of everything that I had bad about better ice do. I should probably just stay up here, because I know what you're gonna do. Need space. Good. It doesn't help that I put snow in here. And the weird thing is. I never, like, intentionally designed this, but if you try to slide, you just slide, like, right off the section. I don't know why I made it that way. Ah, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. There is actually a way to glitch out my Bata Ice creation by despawning it ever so slightly so the Rinka disappears. I only did it once, but it is possible to cause that Rinka to disappear. Yeah. And by the way, for anyone that wants, you know, to use a graphic, go on ahead. Unlike everything else in SDG, I don't mind if anyone uses the Bata Ice, you know, graphic. Just because it looks so cool! I tried having Zafire make me one, but I had to rely on uh, Red Yoshi to make me one. Or maybe it's the other way around. Either way, I asked for like a dead version of Bata, Bata Fire. And then this guy came to creation. Son of a bitch! Stop doing that! You're worse than Mouser! Except, you can probably kill me a lot easier than Mouser can. I really should not have used Mother Brain. Probably should have used something that's a lot more fragile than a ball of fire. Fuck. You just don't want to die. And neither do I! Thank you! Jesus Christ, get me out of this level. Don't you slide off, don't you slide off! Except, I might still lose the progress if I die. <laughs> and I'd rather not. Okay, let's give this another shot. Because I don't know what the fuck is up with this level, but... Oh my god. Oh yeah, now I remember what was wrong. It's because I died... It was because I died right by that, like, that pipe where, like, fucking mouse things were coming out of. God, that shit was so disturbing. I don't even know what the- I don't even know what they were. Why am I, like, lagging a little bit? I usually don't lag this badly. So is it, like, in my best interest to even have all the star- or sorry, all the red coins, or what? Get the fuck out of my way. Oh, that's right. It's because they fucking killed me right through the pipe. Totally foul. 
And this got a 5 rating? How? Exactly? I mean, this is... This is a pretty awful level, I'll be honest. I did that why? Well, now I'm convinced that the level is forcing me to get these stupid things. Oh, cool! A life up! I'll be sure to put that to great use! I'm not going through there. What the fuck does this level want from me? Like, I can only give a shit for so long, and that was given up 14 minutes ago. Oh, hello. Yeah, it must definitely want me to get the coins. Which means I need to go down the air. You're gonna kill me. I need to go to that first section, then. Can I go down the pipe? Nope! And I can't... Why? Exactly. <sighs> and I can't go in these little doorway things at all. This level is pissing me off just as much as its predecessor was. Er, just as much as it did before. Like, what's the point of even having this pipe open to me? Like, I don't understand that. Cause that's that's just worthless. Cause those things they're pointless. I'm not getting anywhere near that fucking pipe again. Get up there. Yay, the pipe gave us that you gave us access to the pipe again? Yes, cause that was that was on my list of things to do. Why the fuck does it do that? That is so dumb. What do you say? Okay. Well, I guess I have to go down this pipe. I hate levels like this. This is exactly what I put in my uh, level designing tips of what not to do. Don't make a maze level that will just confuse the player. Like, what the fuck am I even supposed to do with this thing? I can't destroy it. How the fuck did this level get such a high rating? Fuck it. I'm done with this level. Who designed this? Primal Diaga? You're a terrible designer. You're honestly a terrible designer. I I don't say that often, but that level's a piece of shit. At least the... What was it? What was that level called? It was like... Hologram Castle or something like that? At least that had effort put into it. House of Nightmare. Let's try that in the next part. Let's see if I could go for two videos in this session this time. Let's go for two!